we're going to be doing a, a quick discussion of every arc in the universe. It's the uh, Archie Book Sonic Universe, and what I would say what separates um, Universe from the main series book is that the main series book, obviously, it's, it's broken up into individual stories, but they're part of a grander universe, ironically. Universe is just mostly self-contained random offshoots of the main series. So like, you, don't, you don't have to read Universe <clears throat> to fully understand what's going on in the main series. Would you guys agree with that? Yep. Yeah. For the most part, sometimes like the um, Journey into the East... Yeah, Art, that, I would yeah, say, I have and no maybe. Idea what the hell was that? Though, though. Now, Babylon <laughs> Rising. That's why Babylon Rising was the other one which Tracy. Did, yeah. That kind of directly tied into the events of the main. So movie. I'd say Babylon. Those are the only two that you really probably it would have been helpful if you were reading the main book at the time. Um, everything else is pretty self-contained and pretty uh, good to go off of. Yeah, I mean there are a few like I remember part two of Shadow Saga when. Shadow and Rouge were kind of recruit Sonic. Sonic, yeah, doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, yeah. Not, That was during 200, play. wasn't it? Yeah, that was right before 200. What, 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 in the main series? Yeah. Yeah. No, no that wasn't, that, that was like issue like... PS3. Computer. No, the story, like yeah, no, it was. Yeah, because they were camped outside of the Egg Dome, getting oh, ready to... Yeah. I thought, I, I thought, I thought, I thought, that, I thought that was during one, near 175. Because I, I don't, I don't have two, no, I, was... I don't have 200 in, in trade, but I have that issue. I have issue in, in, in the saga books when um that dome is put on. Because I, cause I got that when I was reading the, the um, Sonic, the um, universe arc. So right. it can't be near... The, um, I, I swear. It didn't, no, it was, it was around 200 because it was that... Um, yeah, because... They were the, sleep camping outside with the, Mo, the, the Mobitropolis ruler or whatever. Right, and it was... At, uh, the, the city was destroyed after the Enerjack arc. Yeah. Because there was nothing left and it was the Dark Age Legion. Yeah, and they were all they were all very easy to beat. Well, they weren't really trying either. Right. Which was it was very um man, that that was like two hundred was a really good I keep thinking three I know, I have never played it on PS three. He's digging through his stuff. <laughs> I'm looking uh, like we're... LOL, you did not earn a trophy. <laughs> ha Four okay, lives Sega. Four lives, well good luck. <laughs> I think I should have warmed up on Windmill Yeah, see? Uh, on the, the, the feed here, Sonic Universe 2 would be about 190. Yeah. yeah I could have sworn. I mean, I, 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 I think it's like, I only have what's in the... Wait, um, Sonic Universe uh, 2 uh, would be about 190 at, during 190? I thought it was Because like, 190 wouldn't have been... Because I swore that... It was in between 197 and 198, because 197 yeah. was the issue Renee DeLiz did with the Egg you're Phoenix. You're right, you're right. And I, 198 is when they actually started infiltrating the Egg Dome. So, so was, was it that night. So was 199 where Robotnik loses it? Or wait. Experience level was 69. No, then, yeah, you're right. 197, I thought it was 197 or 198 was... Jeez, I hate, I hate trying yeah. to remember. Okay, uh, yeah, you're um, right. It's 198 was the Egg Phoenix. 199 yeah. hmm. was part one of the Turnabout is Fair Play, and then 200. Okay, was the one where Eggman loses it. Okay, well, well let's let's start going into the actual um, arc. So the, that's it. The first arc, the um, Shadow Saga, kind of it doesn't. It's not really an arc per se. It's kind of just four standalone shadow yeah. stories. Yeah, it's it's really unique because, like you said, it's four separate stories that star shadow, but really aren't like there is a continuation. Most of most um universe arcs are I like I, I, I it's like one story split up into four parts. Mm -hmm. Right. Shadow is like there, there's certain things carry over, but it's kind of just like shadow being sent on four separate gun missions. Yeah. Right. Which, which is kind of nice. I mean, like it up in um. I think we, we may have talked about this a bit earlier, but the... Um, the why are you <laughs> slowed down? That? That's some like slow down. John, do you want to explain how Universe 1 opens up in oh, relation to, to the main oh, series geez. and X? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> <luck> with that. <laughs> the way that it opens up is that in Sonic X number 40, the last issue of the series, um, oh, I believe it's a Metal Sonic. It's sent into the X universe and the shadow from the main series gets uh the shadow from the main universe travels to X and then they travel back or maybe just Shadow travels back. It's been a no, long and, time. No, and Metal Sonic. And Metal Sonic? Sonic so if you open up Sonic Universe issue one, the very mm. first shot it's an ocean. 
Mm-hmm. And then Sonic and Shadow and Metal Sonic appear yeah, via yeah, Chaos yeah. Control. It's like, Control! It's like the, the first word spoken in that arc. And then they, they just kind of fall into the ocean. <laughs> Right. And then um, it's it's uh, it's interesting because that particular Metal uh-huh. Sonic uh, reappears hmm. about sixty issues roughly later. Oh yeah. Maybe, you know? well, I, I love how I love how it connects back. Um, well, they were supposed to make it more clear that that was that specific model, but yes, I, I heard something where Sega Sega was, was like uh, one Metal Sonic. Sega, because right? yeah, there was a point in the um, uh, Archie series where there was like like multiple Metal Sonics, like they who just kept getting destroyed well, over and over again. The thing that happened right. was that they would always replace him, and then at one point they made Metal Sonic Troopers, mm. which were um, the design from Heroes. Uh, what Neo Metal Sonic? Yeah. yeah, they made those into troopers, and I believe those were designed like made by Chuck, Uncle Chuck. They were made by Chuck and Rotor, kind of as a yeah. standing army when Sonic was tossed I in think space. Runs that button, but it's not yeah, so not a good idea on their part. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was Penders, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Penders. Oh, there's a, oh, something bad in, in the book was Penders' idea. What a shock! But yes, yeah, so but at least I think I think that helped make. Um, Scourge a possibility, or um, I'm sorry, uh, Shard. Shard a possibility. Who he's he's a pretty stand up character. I like Shard. I yeah, like, like Shard. But we'll get to again. We'll get I, to him in a yeah a time. But so yeah. So um, again, um, Shadow Saga, pretty good introduction, and just has it. it it's notable for um, kind pretty much had Omega appeared before that. Ye- um, no, no. Now, so Omega's first it, it introduction in the Arch universe is in Universe issue three. Now, originally, his first appearance was supposed to be 175, where really? he had the same role that Snively eventually had. Um, but yes, his first official appearance was Sonic Universe number 3. Which role was that? Um, he was supposed to go after Freedom HQ and capture everybody. And, oh, like, okay. Blow it <laughs> Snively out. instead? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Good job. I, I think, well, it worked uh, again, the there, part, there was yeah. something with Sega that uh, they didn't want Omega to be that... Evil. Yeah, that evil. Well, yeah, I guess in the game she's only ever been shown as a good guy. Well, not good yeah. guy, but like he, he hated yeah. Eggman from the first <clears throat> moment we met him. Um, quickly as, as an aside, Sonic Universe issue two is a nice kind of loose adaptation of um Sonic Adventure two. Yeah. yeah. Ver- various key po- various key scenes from SA two are kind of uh, it's a, it's a little story where um Shadow and Rouge enlist the help of Sonic for a mission, and at various points it just kind of cuts back to um various sections in a message. It kind of slightly changed because there's um certain scenes that take place from say from SA two don't really match up with what they had in the game, mm-hmm. but um right. it, it I like it. It's kind of it's, it's kind of a nice little cute story. Yeah. Yeah. Also, did we talk about the whole? Uh, Gamma and Omega thing. No, it's not like that. Uh, yeah. Yes. No. Uh, so Gamma apparently didn't get destroyed in the Sonic Adventure adaptation of uh, in in the comic. So they bring him back in like I believe it's the final issue of the arc, and it's Gun's mission to track him down. Issue three, isn't it? It yeah. might be three. Because four, four, four is when they meet <laughs> his Panda God Man, which is oh the yes, character. Panda God. I forgot they went to the special zone and got I wish I could awesome. forget that. Yeah, because he failed and he's like, oh, I'm going to show him this time. They just blow the poop. Yeah, I, I love Omega. <laughs> In that issue. <laughs> yeah, but yeah as, you, as you were saying. But, um, so Gamma's still around, but, jeez, oh, what happens that Egg, he Egg, starts breaking down? Eggman sends Omega to finally finish Gamma once and for all. Yeah. And Shadow is sent to... I, I, is Shadow sent to find Gamma or stop Omega? So Shadow sent to the same... Find Gamma, I think. Find yeah. Gamma. And then um, Omega and... Uh, it's this really nice scene where like, Gamma and Omega are kind of having this little fight where... Um, it's something Ian did, which I really enjoy, where, where like um, Omega's like, you know, a, a, like a walking powerhouse. But like Gamma has this line like, brother, you were like you are a walking arsenal. Me, I am a trained assassin. And he like shoots Omega in like the face like from like a distance. It's, like That's kind of nice. Like... The whole I mean, fight was really cool, I thought. Yes. I mean, it's like, yeah, like, I met, like yeah. Gamma really wasn't an assassin. He was kind of just a big clunky robot. But I like the fact that Ian was like, yeah, let's make him a cool assassin. Yeah, <laughs> they had to do something to make him match up somewhat equally to yeah. Omega. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, obviously it doesn't last just, long. But um, right. <laughs> but essentially when, when Gamma finally, spoiler alert, when Gamma finally uh, bites the dust, he kind of, inf- he kind of like in- injects Omega with like his programming, which kind of turns Omega nice or good. He gets Gamma in him. 
They could have, <laughs> they kind of become one. There could have been a better way they to become say united. That. Would, well. You're one to talk, Jonathan. I remember <laughs> yeah. what you said earlier. We, we can't remember. say it. I don't remember anything anymore. Good. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to forget. And then yeah, issue four is just a, a little trip to the uh, special zone to match which with Panda God Man, which the less, <laughs> less God, said. The, again, I'm um, nice. Never going to come back. So it's you know a nice, nice little, uh, nice little four little adventures. Not really again, not really a, a, a arc per se, but I, I thought a sp- pretty strong opening. Yeah. To that comic book series, you know, no yeah. complaints. It, mm-hmm. It's a book that I um I find myself going back to read every once in a while. Uh, volume uh, arc two. 30 years later. 30 years later is a sequel to 25 years later. Dun, dun, oh. dun. Which uh, is a sequel to 20 years later. That was mm. 20 years later? No. Wasn't it? Or was it just 25? Oh, no, that was, it was just 25. It was 25. different. There was Pender's 25 years later, and then there was Ian's Okay. Years which later is considered, okay, I, I know not now, but which was, I guess, what, Ian's became canon after he did it to replace Kent Pender's version? Yeah, it, it tied well, into Pen- to how Pender's version ended, because... They had to kind of rush the ending and wrap it up. Yeah, the ending so, to Ken Penders is like the universe. It looks like the universe is essentially getting rewritten because it fades to blank and Sonic's disappeared and you don't know what happens. So I believe. Oh, that's a fun ending. Yeah, and then so of course you're gonna have to make a um a uh, what's it called a, a follow up to that where okay everything's okay but it isn't or no it we're past the- that. Because yeah, there's the, five years of peace between 25 and 30 years later. Because mm. I, I forgot that uh, in Ian's arc, Shadow takes over and gets beaten up. And then the following thing is the 30 years later, which is a really cool story where they bring back Chaos. Mm-hmm. Or was that 20? No, 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 that's 30. 30? And yeah. it's Chaos from like, and like, no, it's to cause. To chaos. To chaos. Yeah. And like, yeah, there's Takar this is like this like weird, like, fused thing of chaos. It's oh. pretty weird. There, but it's a messed up relationship where it's like, I might have it's to read like, that. um, Takal, Takal is, uh, getting, why am I saying it's so weird? Is getting killed by chaos even though she's a ghost. It's like this weird, like painful relationship between them that is forced upon by Lian Da and Shadow. Shadow still around in that? Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's the point of it. She um, unleashes Shadow. <clears throat> okay, Shadow yeah. wants vengeance for being locked up, locked up for like five years, or whatever. Now, like um, thirty years later was um, the first kind of it was the second book I got in the universe series. I didn't really know what the hell was going on, but um, unlike unlike a few arcs, we're gonna come up later. It's it's. It's enough of a self-contained story yeah. where, without having read twenty-five years later, isn't really much of a hindrance. I mean, like, obviously, it would, it would things would make a bit more sense if you if you had read twenty-five years later. But just reading it on its own, it works well enough as a standalone story. I mean, the art was good. The um, you know, having Sonic and Sally's uh, children, Sonya and Manic, nice, you know, you know yeah, the mm-hmm. reference to underground. There's um, things were like uh, Tails has kids, and obviously. <laughs> Mina and um, you get to see uh, Antoine and Bunny's kids, right? Yeah. Uh, Jacques yep. and Belle. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Vector's kid. Argyle. Yes, Argyle. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a, there's one of my favorite lines when um, I think Sonic and Sally like Sonic has to go out to like save the day and stuff, and um, Sally's like you can't go out, and Sonic's like just take the kid and go in the panic room, just stay there. And, and, then, and they start and arguing. Silver shows yeah. up. But... Well, like, there's this bit where like, they start arguing, and then they just they just kiss. Yeah. And then it's like Sonic runs out, and it's like Sonic the Hedgehog winning arguments for married men in the world over. It's like that's kind of a kind of a nice little there. That's good for us. Well, I'm not married yet. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, it's it's a good thing. It's the ending's kind of um, you know, it's kind of rehash of SA one, which it's you know fine. Yeah. You see, uh, they make I like it because they they make a lot of um. References to SA one like how how did you you defeat him last time, Dad? Well, I just kind of ran really fast into his brain. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like stuff, stuff like that. I also love um, is it is it thirty years later where he spouts off all the goofy lines from the comic? Before. Let's do it to it. He really well, says he says it. he really well, yeah, says yeah. It. he says like let's do it to it and um, hasta la vista, mista, which was something that was incorporated into the book, like. Oh, like and in the, in there's like a the great. Is it? Something? I think he says, "Let's do it to it," and I think it. I think it, it's either tells his like son or Vector son's like, "Wow, he really does say it." <laughs> it's, 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 it's our guy. I thought, like, wow, yeah. he really does say it. It's Which I out, like. Man. I never kind of like Sonic being a king. I was just like, I don't really. Like, uh, yeah, it, it didn't fit. With it doesn't fit his personality at all. Like, like, Honestly, I I like it better if like Sally was like. <laughs> 
If it was like um, Sally was like President Hillary Clinton, and Sonic was just like, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> it's kind of like how Matt became an astronaut at the end of Digimon. It makes no sense. Uh, Is that just me who knows about that? Never and mind. then and then Matt hooks up with Sora. No, that, that's not yeah, that yeah, yeah. though. It's Ty. It's a bit of Ty. Her one true pairing. But you know, um, you, you know, thirty years. Uh, you know, again, it's 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 a fun little arc. It's um, it. Big Mama. Sorry. Is it a mama? Yeah, big mama. I'm not fighting these called. guys. Oh. Yeah. So again, I'm um, thirty years later. Again, I, I enjoyed it. I I, I would recommend thirty yeah. years later. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Moving on to that, we get to uh, Knuckles Returns. Which um, it's, some people, if they've heard my interview with uh, Tracy Yardlin, may have heard that. I, just, I was so looking forward to that arc because yeah. I'm such a fan of Knuckles. He's, he's, one, he's one of my favorite characters yeah. in the franchise. And so I was like, a Knuckles story. Yes, let's, you know, the, 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 the Knuckles going out, beating people up and doing stuff. That's awesome. And then it's just, I, I would say that Knuckles Returns is the first universe arc that is tied in so closely with the continuity of the main series. That if you don't know about his, Knuckles' his comic history, most of it won't make sense. Yes. Because most of Knuckles' returns made zero sense to me. Well, honestly, Knuckles has the most had the most baggage, which was probably <laughs> well, which was really hurting him. Like he 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 honestly had the most baggage, and he was the character that you were probably going to be the most lost if if you were like ah Knuckles. Right? No, all of you know, his dad and all of his forefathers and that's that's to me that's that's the biggest problem with Knuckles because in the games he's like the sole survivor and like Chronicles brought them in a little bit but we ignore that but like it's like Knuckles is on his own that's 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 like one of his defining characteristics he's the last of his kind he's the sole he's like he's you know he's he's a sole guardian and so like the comic was like let's just give him like the biggest extended family since Batman yeah you know well it's it's a since Batman. What are you talking about? That's what oh, like, you mean like like, like all, the, all the Robins and I stuff. I was thinking you know? like it's pretty much Martha and uh, and uh, uh, Thomas, isn't it? <laughs> um, and they're dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I will say that, like I said, even though endangered species was was never meant to be, the fact that after that happened, the only Echidnas left were Knuckles, and then presumably Finitevis and Dimitri, and then that that yeah. was it. You know, all of that the. Other characters and baggage was pretty much gone from Knuckles. Yeah, there was some good stuff going on with the Down Under Three Dimensional Fighters, which I'm, I'm sure that people that don't read the book just don't care. No but, idea who they were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, they're they're background characters for the book. So if they they go to a different part of the world, they have someone to hang out with. Um, there's this uh, storyline about one of their members being a. Uh, being integrated into the Eggman Empire and secretly being a good guy, which which is a really compelling thing. Um, but, I mean, he's a really minor character, so if you just pick up the book, you're like, eh, this doesn't really matter. But, um, I don't know, it's... Um, that was probably more interesting than a lot of the stuff in it. I will say my favorite part about Knuckles Returns was the fight between Knuckles and Finitevis. Ooh, where he waves and he goes through the warp ring, like he falls off the island. Yeah, and Finitevis, I mean, he was going to beat Knuckles if Julie Sue hadn't uh, intervened. Uh, Just like... uh... Like Rodimus, uh, or like Hot Rod in the... Out of the way, Hot Rod! So, I forget, so... Judy, was it she, Judy Sue? I, I, I mix up all the female kidnas. Who was going? Who saved him at the last second? Julie Sue. And that's Knuckles' future wife. Yes. Yes. Uh, and is, is that the one that Penders loves? Is that the, like Penders like? Lars, who is their daughter, is Knuckles and um, Julie Sue's, Julie Sue's daughter. daughter. That's going to be the the main title character of what's it called? Uh, <laughs> Lars Sue Chronicles. The, the Karash Chronicles. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. Anything else on? Knuckles returns. Just um, probably the first time I'd ever picked up a um, like Sonic related trade paperback, and just at the end of it, like I didn't, I didn't, I can't, I can't say I, I hated it, but I was so confused that I, <laughs> I was so confused that I did feel a bit like let down. Like yeah. I was just, uh, which well, and even, see, I mean, if you if you just like Wikipedia things, I mean that's. But I they shouldn't have to up. do that. I well, just... even for like me, at that point, I had a good understanding of Knuckles' backstory and everything, and knew exactly what was yeah. going on. But even with that story, I like it. It's still one of my favorites mm-hmm. because of Knuckles and Finitevis. But 
I was like you, let down because it was the down under freedom fighters. I they're they're not my favorite characters. Yeah, it's it's, it's kinda, you know the, the the arc is called Knuckles Returns, not Knuckles and a bunch of other characters. No one cares about Returns. Yeah, I expected Knuckles, Infinitevis, Angel Island with some chaos. Yeah, they spend most of the time in, in Down Under. Right. Mm. Which which moving on from arcs that are not self contained. I guess we're coming up to the first one that. As I said earlier, it kind of directly ties into the main continuity, and that would be Journey, Journey to into the East. East. With Monkey Kong. <laughs> Monkey Kong! <laughs> Jeez. Is, again, there's, there's, there's small... The, I actually think that's some... Um, I love Tracy's artwork in that. In that. Yeah. yeah. Nine minutes? Really? Sorry. Actually, I wrote in that. Yeah. Dope. Jeez. Um, there, Wait, um, in what? <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so kind of like... Um, I think Journey to the East has some of... Tracy's best like um, pantomime work. I think some of the poses are really good, and there's there's a lot of, of I think that's some of the best fight scenes in the book. Um, I think that the the fight scenes in that are really good. But again, as in terms of, in terms of the story, it's so tied into the continuity that I'm just like, uh, who's the monkey guy? Like, what's going on? Is, what? What? Well, that was... you sound like a whiny little baby when you talk like that. <laughs> what? I have no sympathy for you. What sympathy? I have no sympathize for you. <laughs> I, have no... I only have drumsticks. No sympathize. <laughs> so maybe you guys could explain more about Journey to the East. Um, well, in the main comic, at that point, they were uh, not... Uh, New Mobotropolis was occupied by the Dragon Kingdom... Which was led by the Iron Queen, Regina who had Ferrum, or however you say yeah, name. <laughs> Ferum, I thought it was, um, who had been canoodling with Snively, and they had been canoodling. Both... <laughs> they were totally doing it, even though she's <laughs> even though she's married to this big uh, bull bull guy. Yeah, that always creeped me out. Like, I forget, yeah. what, I forget what animal is the Iron Queen. She's a human. Oh, she's okay, I forget. She's a the human. Iron King was an ox. Obviously, yeah, but... which... the ox king. Um. I mean, it was obviously a marriage of, like, oh, I'm going to have power if I marry this guy. Yeah, I think it was more of just, like, a mutual relationship. Not necessarily, yeah. like, married Iron King and Queen. Or well, no, I think that. they were definitely had some sort of vows, and it was some sort of legal understanding that they were together. But I think it was more that, oh, this is convenient for both of us mm. in some way. Um, but anyway, they were they were in control of, you know the kingdom that Sonic hails from or whatever. Sonic's World. Sonic's World! As it is now, that is Sega's official name for that planet. Sonic's World. Sonic's yeah. not, World! Not Mobius anymore. Nope. Good. But... <laughs> I don't care either way. Why do you have a problem with Mobius? I don't, I don't, I don't, have, I don't, I don't have a problem that's not Mobius. No, I'm saying... I'm saying yeah, no, yeah, but I'm saying like, like Sonic's World is a dumb name for that. Yeah. That's why Ian's like, I'm not going to call it that. Yeah. Like I just won't, I just won't refer to it by anything. Yeah, but yeah. So, Sonic owns the entire world. Exactly. So what was what was it called before Sonic was born? World. <laughs> no, Sonic was named after the world. So <laughs> we're gonna name you Sonic because you're the most impersonal person to us. Impersonal person. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, so you're yeah, getting back to uh, the Iron Queen. So they go to the east uh, to muster up support from the other clans because. What's Regina from the Dragon Clan or something? No, Re Regina was obviously an Outlander. Uh, outlander. <laughs> Overlander? I'm going to keep calling them Skylanders. <laughs> Outcast. Spyro's brother. She <laughs> met with a local warlord, which became the Iron King, and they conspired to control the four clans. So she okay. wasn't necessarily from a clan, and how she became associated with them the is. Two Clocks she, fan? Yes. Whoa. She killed the leader of the Yag. Yagway? The bat? <laughs> Yagyu? Yeah, Yagyu. Man, uh, Yagyu. I hate driving weren't the Yagyu. Um, the <laughs> weren't they the bats? Yeah, the bat clan. Um, and she killed their leader. So bat she clan. became the, the... That sounds like a racist ride. Batman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, bas basically every part focused on a different clan. Mm. Yeah. So the first part was... Not the Shinobi. It was the Spider Clan. What was the Spider Clan called? Anybody on here? Yes. The spider. I don't know. The Spider Clan. Spider Man. Um, spider Clan. Anyway, the second one was the Bat Clan. Third part was oh the Raju, the Lynx Clan that Lightning Lynx is from. <laughs> We're just talking about how they're offended. I know. It should be. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go, Jonathan. <laughs> Put the stream down. Ah. 
My favorite part was the fourth part with uh, the Shinobi clan with Espio. Mm. Yeah. Wasn't that uh, the point where like, Espio had been like thrown out of the Chaotix? That's not something I didn't really get. Well, like, yeah, he because they, um, was he, he was loyal to his clan, and his clan was at that time yeah. loyal to the um, Iron Queen or whatever, I think. So he got recalled, and they were like, Hey, man, we don't like this. Fair enough. And so how did... I, I forget, how did the journey to the East end? Um, they, they got to the East. Yeah, they just were able to <laughs> break. Yeah, they reached their destination. Thank <laughs> <Whew. My> goodness. <laughs> what, a, what a great ending. <laughs> yeah. They basically broke the hold of... Yeah, they... Broke they, the Iron Queen's hold on the four clans by their word of honor. I think they also... did. They established Monkey Con as... <laughs> the, the ruler again, didn't they? As the king of the free yeah. people. That mm. works alongside the four ninja clans. Okay. Yeah. You know, That's I, how it ended. Yeah. So, again, um, it's. It, I guess you, you you can enjoy it more if you had um, followed the books. The yeah. main series. Because, again, I was a bit like... I I, I, I like Journey to the East more than Knuckles Returns. Because, like, it's... It, it's kind of... Like, Knuckles Returns is kind of... It's not really its own story. Just, like, it just so heavily references stuff. Journey to the East kind of has its own its own story, but it just it you get more enjoyment if you know, um, you know, if you don't if you don't follow the books. Right. Moving on from that though, it's probably I think probably one of the um I think one of the best that I've read so far arcs that would be uh the Tales Adventure. Yes, that was an amazing. The fact that he brought back that old of a, a game for the Game Gear. I know. The Battlebird Armada yeah. and Speedy and. Dr. Fuku Roka. <laughs> this this oh, has know, to be right? my absolute favorite arc uh, in universe. It's, I mean, mostly for the Bunny and Antoine mm. um, honeymoon. Because yes. it's like, oh, thanks for letting us uh, use your island uh, for our honeymoon tales. No problem. What are you guys going to do? It's going to be so boring. It's like, <laughs> uh, we'll find ways. Yeah, I don't, like, yeah, because um, I don't remember Tales of Owning an Island. Well, no, he owned a he. It, well, he didn't. It was his island yeah, he in found the game. It. Yeah, mm. it was his island in the game, so I guess they were like, "Oh, he found an island." Yay! Yay! So did they? But had, had that been established in the um, Archie Brooks previously that they, he had the island? No, they went back, and when Sonic was in space, uh, Tails had his. Um, is it the Sea Fox? His submarine. That he would yes. travel around in, and he found that island and actually built hit himself like a cabin. A little shack. You know, like his man away shack. from home to where he hmm. could go work on projects. That was his man cave. He's like, get out of here, Ma. <laughs> I gotta go to my island. Go back to outer space, Ma. <laughs> Jeez, I don't want to clean my room. I'm going to go to my island with my fake poppy robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But yeah, it's, um, it's got some nice stuff. But, you know, Again, it's the fact that Never would have I had expected a Ooh. Tales adventure yeah. for a part comic See, book series, you know? I think I actually it read really this one. I remember too, really and liking it, it. I like that it introduced a villain that wasn't uh, Eggman. Mm. Like, and it was actually a villain from the games, too. Like, it was... Yeah, he um, was a Sega villain. Yeah. Yeah, a Sega character, yeah, yeah. You know, brand new characters. I mean, they... If you get if you get the um the trade paperback, they actually show you it in the back, the original game design. And yeah. it's, I believe, Ooh. Tracy's redesigns. Yes. Of, uh, of the characters, you know, it's, it's good stuff. It's and good stuff. Speedy with his flight harness that looks like a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> they, there's that. a lot of complaints about the diaper, and they're like, well, it's not a diaper. That's just how his uh, crotch area looks, and he's wearing a helmet. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, I think, uh, um, I'm not thinking too much make, about this. How the, how the characters through dialogue make fun of it, actually, in the story. Yeah. Too, which is kind of nice. I like how um, Ian Flynn writes in a nice uh, callback to. Um, Satie, and where like, there's a section where Antoine's imprisoned, and he's having a conversation yes. with uh, these guys. They're talking about like making um escargot, and, and he's like, "You have to use, you have to use butter. It, it's yeah. much better than margarine." Like it's like that's such a cool little rollback. Oh, well, and then they, uh, for the first time outside of the writer's adaptation, showed the Babylon Rogues, mm, which yeah. I thought it was cool because they tied in Bean, the Babylon Rogues. And the Battle Bird. Well, Armada all the bird altogether. characters in universe um, were eventually tied into the Battle Bird Armada, which is honestly a really cool, nice touch because the Battle Birds were kind of portrayed as this weird, militant, kind of cultish attitude. Like, 
they're the Nazis of the sky or something. Mm. Like, we're going to rule the skies, and they hate tails because he's got, he flies with tails and not, he's not a bird. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of references to, um, yeah, like, there's, isn't there one bit where, like, one of them flies and he hasn't got wings and tails is like, how do you fly, like, you know, yeah, how do you, he's like, because I'm a bird! <laughs> he just, you know, doesn't make any sense. Well, he, he, I mean, uh, like, I, there's just such animosity because he just, he flies with tails, which... I don't, I don't know if we really got that, because that's a, that, like, that's a thing about tales, like, uh, in other, um, media, like, people don't like him because he's got two tails. Yeah, in certain things, like, in, um, in his origin in STC, he's kind of like, in a, they, they did a story about, like, tales of origin, and he's like, he was bullied as a child, because he was, um, uh, you know, he was like, he was bullied because he had two tails and stuff, it's like, oh, okay. Is it, somebody in the stream made a good point. Guru Emu is not part of the Battle Bird Armada. So not all the bird characters. Oh, you're are. right. <laughs> Guru you're right. Emu. Oh, <laughs> son of a gun. How could we forget? He's like the best oh, character. We, we just talked we about, about the... Him? We talked about the Down Under uh, Freedom Fighters and we forgot about Guru Emu. Guru Emu. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh he God. can't fly anyway, so... So screw him. Yeah. He doesn't know who we talked about. But yeah... Toad's Adventure, nice to say, I think that's probably one of the most accessible stories. Yeah. That that's a, it's yeah. own self-contained little thing. Good stuff. Um, after What's after Toad's Adventure? Is that it's Silver Story? Silver. No, Treasure Team Tango. Oh, yes, correct. Yeah, Treasure okay. Team Tango. Treasure Team Tango, which I believe is a, it's a big thing featuring Blaze, Amy, Cream. Blamey. Yes, and then Bl yeah. Blamey. Yeah. <laughs> all the single ladies. All the single ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have, what, Shadow Rouge Omega... Babylon Rogues. And you got and uh, Bean Bark and Knack as yes, a team. As a team. team. team, That's, team of the game. Yeah. One, one <laughs> thing I like about the Archie book is that they really kept Team Dark as a thing. Yeah. Like, yes. you know, like after Heroes, like, you know, obviously we have Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles as, as a thing, but like, we don't really get. Outside of 06. Outside of 06, it was like Amy and um, Amy and Cream are always a pair, but like Big's very ready with them. Yeah. And obviously, the Chaotix have more members in the books, but like, team, and they're constantly referred to by Gun as Team Dark. Like, we have to deploy Team Dark on a mission to do this. Like, Team Dark are out on a mission currently. Yeah. So it's, like, it's like a nice little like, thing that I like that they Well, as far as games. Big goes, he's got better things to do than hang around with little kids Fishing. all day. Fishing. He's got fish, yeah. fish, man. Yeah. He's got to find his frog friend. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you this time? Be like, I don't. Uh, I. I, I I, I bought um the uh, what's it called again? Treasure Team Tango. Treasure Team Tango. <laughs> These what are we talking about? I can't stand. You know. Um, I remember really enjoying it. I don't really remember what the plot was. I remember they were just they, they were, just, they were trying to find Soul a uh, Soul Emerald. Yes. Well, we're right. trying to get it back. What happened is it was finally revealed that Eggman Nega, who's warring with the Zone Cops, apparently has Blaze's Soul Emeralds, which is kind of cool because it ties back to the fact that he was the main antagonist of Rush. Yeah, mm. um, and he actually passes through Mobius Prime, and one of the soul emeralds that he has carrying with him is shot down hmm. de into Mobius Prime, and it attracts attention from Gun as well as uh, Blaze ends up in that world to try and find her mm. soul emerald. There's this nice, I think it's in issue three or four, where like, there's this, this massive punch up between all the teams. Yeah, yeah. And there's this great image of like Shadow takes Amy's hammer and just swacks it with it. <laughs> She's like knocked down <laughs> on the floor. It's like that's kind of that's kind of. It's kind of mean for Shadow to do that. Well, and I, I love the part, too, when Bean goes to use his, his bombs and Blaze puts out the fuse. <laughs> yeah. It has, like, the whole page of, like, Bean, like, it's like, just so destroyed. More than over the loss of his yeah. bomb. It's uh -huh. like... He goes to take out a lighter or something. That's also something I like that they I, they talked about Blaze, because, like, in, in the games, all you ever see is that she just can, like, have fireballs, but she's like, I control fire. She's like, right. uses her, like... Magneto fire powers just to pick the fire go out you know just like, I like that well, well just like the part with Omega when he fires like everything he has at them and she just like puts up a wall of flames and deflects it and he, <laughs> yeah. and he like falls in love with her yeah <laughs> what? It's like, awesome yeah you know just, I, I want I, I want to burn things with you <laughs> yes <laughs> that is the most romantic thing I've ever heard in my life so that's still, what I'm going to say to Caroline when we get married it's still a, it's still a bit of love story in Twilight <laughs> yeah, <laughs> agree with that. But yeah, so yeah, to take the Dream Tango again. It's um, it's it's a nice little self. There's it, certain elements that are part of the main series continuity, but in, in the most part, if you're familiar with most of the games, you will know most of the characters, and have a have a good sense of what's going on. 
Yeah. So, you know, I would I, I would recommend uh, Treasure Team Tango. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a fun it's, story. Yeah, it's just really a fun story. All of the characters included in it's there. Just, it's are just Sega goofy. Characters. It's just kind of. And just, I think they yeah. all get a moment too. So if there's one you like, hmm. right. And again, Bean, I'd say. Uh, Bean gets a good chunk of like the best dialogue. Yeah. In there. Okay, was that? Yeah, Bean and Omega were my two yeah, favorites. Yeah, like, because I think because I mean, Ian wrote to Team Tango, right? Right. Yeah. 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 And so he said that Bean's his favorite character, right? He just makes him so insane. Like it's awesome. But even Omega with uh, Cream, the fact that he <laughs> like he like can't hurt her because she's, she's so small, and yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. She's so, yeah. Yeah. And she's like, she's like, thank you, Mister Robot, for not crushing me violently and stuff. <laughs> She's like talking to him, and he, you know, says that he's trying to refrain from crushing her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I believe oh. after that, that then it was finally silver. silver. Okay. Then it's silver, yeah. Yeah. Then silver. It's silver the Saga. great thing about silver is um, that Ian brings brings his like fan. Yes, the other end. like it is fan it, character, isn't it? He's, yes, oh, it's like he, he brings in like he references his fan um, comic other M by. Metroid? Kind of, uh, kind no, of we don't combining <laughs> his fan characters with like a realistic. It's it's kind of like he's rewriting other M to make it fit into the Arch universe, but it doesn't like take away from it. It's just like, oh, this is a different. Uh, this is a really dark, awful future. Yeah, and it wraps up the story that Penders started that didn't yeah. really make sense and was never resolved ever. What the story was that? Well, th he started. It started that there was um, the first time we saw Lara Sue was she traveled back in time, I believe, to prevent Remington from killing Knuckles, and then she gets back to the future and she has to help Julie Sue stop Knuckles because Knuckles is evil or something. Do basically, they actually say that he's in her kids, Knuckles! That was great with that about your kids! It basically says wh whenever she returns that Knuckles is actually the, the evil that controls the planet or something. Yeah. Ba basically Star Wars. Where, <laughs> <laughs> where she like goes back to try to prevent him from dying, but here he's the, the main villain. or yeah. so, so It wasn't really very specific. And then, like, if you, if, and then it's like, oh, how's this gonna end? And they start Mobius twenty years later or twenty five years later, and it's like a completely different thing. It's like, wait, what's going on? Also, she was named Janet Ka in that too. Right. So, I, I will say, Don, nice. uh, Don did the artwork for that one. Yeah. yeah I really like the mm. art there. I have a couple of the pages. Oh, me too. But I forget what what was what's the what's, so what happens in the silver arc? Because I haven't read that one yet. He beats Enerjack Knuckles. <laughs> Yeah, basically, oh, okay. he returns to the future. Uh, was that the first time? N no, we, we had already knew that Mogul, Mammoth Mogul, was, was his Silver's mentor. Yeah. Which was, which was a huge twist I wasn't expecting. I love that. That was amazing. Uh, and he, he's foggy on, how, on like, the past, because it's so far uh, removed from him. Right, and you're always wondering, is does he really feel remorse? And does he yeah. really want to help Silver, or is he just trying to use Silver to try and get rid of Sonic and the Freedom Fighters, mm. so his past self can actually, uh, you know, take over the world? Yeah. Man, I love what Ian did with Mammoth Magol. Like, that was some good stuff. Um, I, I thought Mammoth Magol was a really good villain under his hand. He was kind of like Kingpin Lex Luthor, sit and wait. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That was a good story. It just um, probably wasn't the my favorite of them, but it was a, it was a good story. See, it, it was one of my favorites just because I I, I love first of all I love the design of Enerjack, what they did with him. Yeah, he mm -hmm. actually looked like really cool instead of like I don't know like an the Egyptian weird bird god. beak thing. Yeah. yeah, they put like cybernetics on him and the, the everything. I really like that, mm. but. I like he he like uh, loses the Enerjack power and he becomes decri uh, like uh, in, uh, like crippled. Crip well, I was gonna say something. Decrepit. Decrepit. Yes. Yeah, decrepit. I was about to say decrippled. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk again. <laughs> you were you were like flying a minute ago. <laughs> Oh so, yeah. So after um, Silver's arc comes. Is that Scourge breakout? Yeah, the Scourge. That's, oh, that's the one that. I'm really looking forward to reading in trades. But it that sounds like it, it may not come out in trades. Are they still? No, on? it's it's. I think it's going to. It better do. Because oh, right. Silver Silver Saga is next for trade. Right? Silver Saga is next. If they if they can't do uh, Scourge, they definitely can't do Silver. Well, Silver's already coming out. So like it's well they. Uh -huh. 
It's going to be, I think, I think this month. Yeah, from what I understand, the whole uh, obviously the public doesn't know anything what happened with the lawsuit with Ken. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure the deal ha- was something like they're allowed to reprint issues that use his character. I believe, I, but he has to say con- uh, with concepts you, uh, created by Ken. Yeah, I, well, I, I believe they can reprint, but they just can't do anything new with them. Yeah, and, if and they he has do, to get like front page credit and stuff. Mm-hmm. If they do like a Sonic Legacy cover, they can't put Jeffrey St. John on it anymore yeah. because. But they, they put Drago on. Wolf on it. Did w- no, yeah, that Dra- was Knack. No, that was Drago. Really. Yeah, because Knack's also on that cover. Huh. Yeah, it's just a very knacky dra- uh, Drago. So I think so. It's it's good. He's in like alternate dimension. He prison. is in Zone Cop Jail. <laughs> zone Cop. Oh my God, the Zone Cops. I really love what Ian was doing with them, uh, and I really like the idea of like Warden Zobotnik. It's it's an alternate version of a Robotnik that's a warden with his <laughs> lackey Znivly. <laughs> it's like why. That like, is like that is like like the worst fan fiction I've ever heard of. It's actually oh. uh, the concept was come uh, made by D- uh, Dan Slott, the head writer of uh, Spider Man. Dan yeah. Slott came up with that. He he came up with the Zone Cops with uh, Zon Zon Z- Zonic at least. Zonic and no I remember on the Archie blog they used to have like the short stories yeah. like with uh, they mentioned Zally. Oh my god! Yeah. And what was... Zally the uh, uh, These are all like Zays or something. Zaz, Xena, <laughs> Zale, <laughs> Zonic. You know? there, there was Zuj, too. She was, Zuj. She was a psychiatrist. Have you been working out? You're Zuj. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I yeah. forgot about Zuj. Yeah, that scene with... Was it Lightning Links? Where yeah. he was in like a therapy session? Group therapy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, it was just... It was a really fun... Um, and you know how a lot of them, they like spend like an issue each for each of the um each of the people if they're going to explain who they are mm-hmm. they spent one issue on that so oh, good. it's nice. it's very uh it's very condensed for that um but you have a lot of oh, like yeah. really good alternate peeks into alternate realities and it's just it's a fun it's a really fun story i am really i am really looking forward to it reading that if it ever she's oh and that. and there was smalls the cat too smalls the, <laughs> smalls cat, the cat no big <laughs> big. <laughs> biggie smalls the cat that was oh. <laughs> he was uh he was scourge's uh bunk mate wasn't he yeah yeah he, yeah, oh he was kept in the same smalls cell. the cat that's amazing. and what was great is they put the control collar on scourge so he literally was yeah. completely weak and pathetic they even trimmed his spine so he couldn't yeah. do like a spin dash or anything <laughs> Nice. And then they paired him up with Smalls the Cat, who constantly <laughs> physically abused him. <laughs> yeah. It's like he really Smalls. deserves all of this. <laughs> Smalls the Cat is fantastic. But I, I even like the, the cameos. Like they had Robolacticus and Silver Snively. Did they? In the oh, yeah, background. they did. Oh, my gosh. Um, and even like one panel, I guess somebody pointed out that Tracy drew what looked similar old, to old, Wolf O'Donnell from the Star Fox series. Oh, nice. Because really? also they have. Um, Alternate Mephilus, an alternate void. Yeah, so I mean, even on panel. panel had Werehog, the Werehog. In oh, there. they had um, they had uh, the the nanny from uh, twenty five years later in it. Oh, Abby, she, yeah, Abby, she the was koala. in there. Yeah, she Abby was, the in there was in there too. And she's like, like lifting weights, <laughs> pumping yeah, up her arms. <laughs> oh. that, that arc, that, that that was probably one of my favorites. And like, yeah, again, I thought I wanted to read that. Ian took the destructics, and like I said before, actually made me. They made them care about thing, them yeah. and like them. Mm. Like they actually had a purpose, and weren't just a punching bag for Sonic every time yeah. they popped up. That's cool. Oh, those fearsome force. <laughs> so after <laughs> so after Scourge arc, he goes to Scrambled. No, um, or Babylon, is it Babylon, Babylon Rising. Babylon Rising. So okay, and the basic plot of that is they're trying to find their sacred cup or whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I just know. can't they're drink like my Jesus tea or anything else. <laughs> the Holy Grail of birds. <laughs> yeah. um, but they also are like, oh, we're aliens in the end. Well, first, yeah, they're, 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 first, well, first they were genies. And now they're aliens. Aliens. So are they aliens? Are they aliens? Yeah, they were like alien alien genies. Janies? Janies. (laughs) Janies, Scooby? The only thing is that um, at that time in the comic, the Battle Bird Armada was attacking Mobotropolis, right? Hmm. Wait, that was right after Eggman attacked the city with his death, with um, Metal Sonic Kai, Titan Metal Sonic? Um, And then right after he tried to destroy the city. And they they hadn't even recovered from it is when the Battle Bird Armada attacked, so it tied like 
I'm trying to think. That was right after mm. Genesis, wasn't it? When the death yes, attacked? Yes, because Nagus was king. Right. Yeah, he just taken over as king. And, or no, he used this as an a, as an excuse to become king. Oh, yeah, because he yeah. saved him from Titan Metal Sonic by using his crystalline magic. Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah that was awesome. That was a Ben Bates drawn issue, yes. too. Yes, yeah. Uh... Yes. So yeah, basically, and this is another story uh, written by uh, Tracy, too. Yeah, basically, mm. the, the, he, Babylon Rogues figured out their history, just yeah. like they did in Zero Gravity. And that's the most significant thing that happened, but you there, also, you also have had the, ba the Battle Bird, Bird Armada, Armada attacking. I think that was the best thing, because you got this whole backstory where this, this animosity is, exists between um, uh, Jet and Speedy. It's like, you are the favored son, and I hate you. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I think you also see uh, Bean in the background of the flashback, like, ah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. When he was ah. a part of the Armada. Oh. So would you, you guys rate it highly, Babylon Rising? I think it's really good. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not a huge... I like the Babylon Rogues, but they're not some of my favorites. Yeah, I think so. the thing about it is that I just don't care as much about the Babylon Rogues. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they're cool. Yeah. They're they're better than other Sonic characters, but they're not, like, high up yeah. there on my list. Mm. So, it was okay. well-written, and the illustrations were I mean, it was well a done. solid arc. It was a really yeah. good arc. I, I find myself wanting to read the um, universe arcs more than, than the main series. They just seem well, like I think more they're fun. more yeah. defined more accessible. and more they, they're more different from each other. Yeah, um, it's refreshing that every four issues you get a different character. To yeah. Mm. What are you doing? It's attacking Amy. Um, so, so after after Babylon yes. Rising, it is scrambled. <laughs> Bobby, is it scrambled um, after Babylon Rising? Yes. Yes. Scrambled, scrambled is scrambled scrambled number one. Is, I am looking forward awesome. to just like so it. that's that's probably up there with Chaotix Quest as my favorite. I think Scrambled might be my favorite. I think Scrambled is a lot better than Chaotix Quest. Um, it's essentially a Snively story because Snively yeah, is pretty going. Much, yeah. Snively is going out and trying to earn back Regina, <laughs> who's <laughs> who's. <laughs> Uh, like um, <laughs> imprisoned by Robotnik and he's I don't know a lot goes on but really it's that ending that ending makes it oh my yeah. gosh Eggman get a load of this <laughs> <laughs> right at the end when he pulls out the O oh. beater mark 2 yeah to fight the iron oni or whatever that was yeah called. he gets like a he gets like a magical <laughs> yeah, suit of armor from like what, the, sni what, from like, like Snively Snively, Snively. to yeah. fight uh, Robotnik in like a, a mecha suit, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun, but oh my god, that ending is so depressing but well, so great. Well, and I love part one too, where Snively like sabotages him and yeah. brings out the, the oh the, the robot infiltrators, the, the yeah. duplicates of him, to tr and uh, sends out a message through the Egg Network that Eggman's dead and the Death yeah. Egg is destroyed. That basically everybody's free to do what they want, so Eggman has to teleport all of the Grandmasters in to put them back yeah. in line. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to see, like, uh, Drago and Razor Claw. And, and the Nerve yes, Foreman. Yes, the, the Foreman. The uh, nerve. You get to see... Um, there was a few, like, Diesel the Honey them. Bear that we didn't really yeah. know much about. He was replaced <laughs> by Axel. In the new, because I guess new... that's a Ken Penders thing too. Even though the concept is an Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog one, right? Yeah. Hmm. Technically, technically, even though he might not, you know, know it. <laughs> um, so again, what? So what? So like, so what? So what happens in Over the Forest? Just Snively just fights that man. Snively. Well, the second issue, I believe, he goes and sees um, Hope. His Yes. Sister? Hope half Kinsible. Sister. His half sister. Yeah, half Who looks at Gun? <clears throat> yes. She's actually like the, the brain trust of Team Dark. So she's yeah. technically the fourth member it's of Team Dark. I believe you mean G U N. G U N, I'm sorry, G U N. I must not say Gun to Volley. Is I take it Hope is disbanded post reboot. No more Hope. She gone? Probably. I mean yeah, she was I... created by Carl Bowler's first strike. Second strike, she's um, related to Robotnik. Oh yeah, she's so, well, she's yeah. And now that Snively's not even related to him, I, Snively I don't is think a parent. They could they could maybe bring her back and it's not have her related. Yeah, I the Carl Bowler's issue is sticky though. It's Hope mm. Tinko Bar <laughs> It's it's the spare. It's Kinto <laughs> Hope Bor. It's know. Maria. Maria. She, but that was a plot point that she looks a lot like Maria, so 
Shadow likes her. What are you doing? Shadow has a thing for girls that look like Maria. <laughs> yes, yeah, little girls that have blonde hair are creepy. And bug eyes. Bug eyes. Only, only in the Shadow game. That's the so weird bad. anime That's eyes. the only game that matters, Gareth. Game's awesome. What are you trying to do? You're trying to glitch through the game, but you suck at it. You can't do it. Stop I it. haven't done it in a while. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah. So, uh, again, Scramble, kind of like... Um, uh, the other one we just talked about was that <laughs> we forgot to Babylon, about. Or, uh, yeah. I mean, Babylon Rising is ones that I, I am looking forward to uh, reading a lot when they, when they finally get released in um, in the trade. So yeah. after Scrambled come Secret is that Secret Freedom, Freedom? Was next. What's Secret Freedom? It it's is a secret. So <laughs> when um, <laughs> so when Nagus takes over uh, Mobotropolis, um there's like an elite group of underground secret freedom fighters that band together. It's um, it's Elias, who is the prince. Is that how you say his name? I always said it Elias. No, it's Elias. Okay, yeah, that makes Eli- sense. I've never that's an actual it. name. Elias is a name. Yeah, I've never heard of that's an actual <laughs> name. Uh, well, I, th- I thought Elias was Elias. Don't worry, I used to say Geoffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Geoffrey St. John Geoffrey. over there. Um... No, but uh, it's Jeffrey. No, they're fighting against Jeffrey because Jeffrey's working with Nagus. Um, it's Elias, Liko, and Lyco, the uh, twin wolf pack girls. Any game cat? Um, no. Yeah, Silver's a part. Oh, I forgot about Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Silver's a big character Who's in Silver? it. It's yeah. really. It's yeah. I, I think their way of of making it possible was Silver's on the team because um, he m- strikes a deal with Harvey Who. Uh, to f- help him to find out Harvey, who's leading it, he's like the the who the Charlie from Charlie's and the Charlie Angels. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he's been uh, working behind the scenes to help uh, King Max, but King Max never took his advice. So Harvey, who tried yeah. to warn him about Warlord Kodos, Nagus, mm-hmm. and Robotnik before they went against the king. Yeah. So. Well, Max was Max is kind of crazy, so whatever. yeah, he was a bit of a douchebag. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that that uh, maybe it's just because it, it features normal game characters and it seems to be so heavily tied in the continuity. That's maybe not one I will hold my breath for trying yeah. to read. I mean, it's really I, good. I, it's I really got really it. great art. Um, and, and oh, uh, shard shard's a big part of it. Oh, yeah, okay. Which was that's cool. the you best part more about him and his abilities, which was really the first. That was really the first time because he had been in some yeah. backup stories in the main series about how he was created or brought back. No, he's um like there's a lot of good characterization between Shard and I. I um, I think Shard is really the highlight of that uh, that arc. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it it does connect. It's another one of those that connects into the stories at that time too. Yeah, it's it's um, a good story, but yeah, you probably need to know a little bit about the main book. Mm. Be able to get yeah, what's, what all's going on? Was there one after that? Um, there was Race for the Stars, the one issue. The one uh, issue that yeah. was terrible. Oh, so that was it's which if, if anyone picked up Sonic Select Nine, I believe had just just came out. It had features all of the uh, the game adaptations. Not like, all yes. of them. I think there's one now, that's missing. No, it did even have the Sonic and the Secret Rings digital. It, it, yeah, that is never the first time. Which yeah, that um, cool. so what was missing? Oh. And Chronicles had episode four. We had it's on for episode two. It had dash. It had it. jump. It had rush. It rush had adventure. rush. It rush adventure. It had unleashed. Uh, Chronicles. Colors. Colors Lost world. Generations. What, Black, Black Knight. Knight. Black Knight. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it had. Ring. Yeah, I, pretty, I think there was one. It did not have writers, did it? That's what it is. I think it's writers. Because that was a two part backup yeah. story. I don't oh. think it had writers. I wonder why. Space. Well, it's weird because they, they, they've already they put um, the Rush adaptation in Saga Book 1 at the end. Hmm. So they'd already re released that. I would have preferred to have writers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mainly because the Rush adaptation doesn't have very good art. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Who, who was that? I don't know who that was. Tony Del Rio? I don't know. I don't yeah. remember. But it yeah. might have been. The art wasn't, wasn't great. But yeah, um, so after that arc was. What's the last was arc? Was that Chaotix Quest? Chaotix yeah, it must be Chaotix Quest. That was awesome. Which, that's the, that's another one I'm looking forward to reading. So, what what's the basic plot of of Celtic Quest? So basically, they're Mighty, going after Mighty and Ray. Yeah, Mighty and Ray had left to find Mighty's sister Matilda after he 
after Espio revealed that she was actually alive, where Mighty just assumed that she died along yeah. with his parents okay. in Mercia. Um, so basically, Espio, Charmy, and Vector um, stop receiving letters from them and think that something's up, so they go after to see, to make yeah. sure they're okay, or what exactly happened to them. Um, using the warp ring technology from Angel Island. So the first two issues I, I really liked where they go to Mercia, and unfortunately, again, that's this is where the lawsuit started to take Yeah, I, th I felt like the second issue was a little hurt because it was a lot of monologuing. Yeah. Like, it was a lot of monologuing. Because they had to explain why Rob and Mary Ann were not there and replaced yeah. by Bo and Thorn, and Thorn the Lop and Bo the Sparrow. Hmm. So then issues three and four had to do with the same Blast Freedom Fighters again. So that's, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, well, I, I really liked what Ian was setting up with, like, that area with the uh, oil ocean. Because uh, it, uh, it was kind of this, um, like, the Baron, Baron Rabo, Rabo, uh, Bunny's uncle, was... There was just some really interesting things because there was going to be this backstory about how he was like in this like southern baronies right below uh, Mobotropolis and they had this animosity or something. Uh, but I don't know. It was a really good arc. Well, I like well I I like the second the last two issues better than the first two because yeah. I think I think uh, at least the second one <clears throat> kind of hindered. Yeah, I I did like. Um, some of the crazy critter free freedom fighters. Yeah. Though, like Alan Quayle, who you know, breaks out. <laughs> hey, song. nani nani. Yeah. <laughs> so that it, it it was a really good arc, and of course you had vectors find the computer room. Line. Yeah, I love <laughs> that <laughs> too. Come on, boys, let's go find that computer room. <laughs> make as much noise as possible. <laughs> <laughs> find the computer room. That's amazing. Uh, I really like Ian's take on the chaotic tree. I think he has a good. I think yeah. he, he he probably writes them better than they've ever been shown in any any other medium. Show. Then issue fifty was um, which maybe we should talk was originally <clears throat> Ian's original plan was oh, to be yeah. a Sonic Underground epilogue. He was gonna show a yes. right to the issue where yeah. Sonic Sonya and Manic met found their mother finally. But legal issues uh, stopped that from being made and uh, Ian has well, said Well, I don't know if I think it was just that they were like oh, no, no, so, no, 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 no. It, 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 Sega was like no, just game stuff. No okay. more, no like, no more cartoon stuff. But Ian has said that he's still hopefully somewhere down the line because it, yeah. the only way I think they might get away of it because it's it's already been established that underground exists in the Archer universe. It, they, it like exists. Yeah, it's an alternate, alternate universe. 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 Yeah, exactly. Like so like, Mobius. I would have liked that, but they replaced it with a story about um, Shard versus Metal Sonic, which is which, uh, pretty good. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Just, I, was I, I, I like that. I like that so, issue. It was good. Yeah. I think I would have loved the underground because yeah, me you know, too. Because just because, as Ian said, underground is like the only animated spin-off that didn't get a um, a kind of firm conclusion. Because a was yeah. a was th, which is wacky episodes. So that doesn't matter. Satyam arguably lives on in the Archie book anyway. Yeah. Um, X had it had a um, self-contained. You know, its its stories were wrapped up. The OVA was wrapped up. Yeah. Boom, which is going to be small self-contained like adventures. And underground is the only one where like you know it's it's just open ended. Yeah. So it was like, you know, as a nice little thing to the fans, he wanted to end it, which hopefully one day soon. He says he has the, the breakdowns. He says he, he has the breakdowns set up for it. He has to um, get yeah. the approval to write it. Well, people people have been asking if it's going to be part of the um, Lost Hedgehog Tales, but it's not because... He still plans to do it. Because point. he still plans to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't... I, I don't... If maybe, it wasn't going to happen at that, I, I don't know. Maybe it might. it might come on later, but um, I like this. It was a good little story. Nice, nice arc. I had some yeah. nice yeah. pathos between uh, Shard and Nicole. I love that. I love that they were hinting kind at of like that. that yeah. Stuff. yeah, that's kind of nice. And it, it's, it ended on such a downer that it's like, oh, I hope I hope everything's okay. Yeah, and then from that was Worlds Collide. Yeah, right. And then after Worlds Collide, we got, in, we got into a pirate... Plunder Panic. Plunder Panic, which, uh, as we said, uh, as we hinted at earlier, that um, the original Met that Metal Sonic and Mushy One of Universe comes yeah. back later. He's reborn as a pirate. <laughs> Although, and as, as, as Bobby said, that um, oh, originally, this is what again one that um, Tracy wrote, and originally the fact that Captain Metal, as he's called, 
is that Metal Sonic from issue one was a lot more obviously stated. Yeah. Due to Sega's mandate now of like one Metal Sonic, just one, no more copies. They had to kind of it's if you read it, it clearly is. But like they could just fight out say it's the yeah. same Metal Sonic we fought last time. They, I think. I, th- I think he changed the design enough too that it would yeah yeah, yeah he had to alter yeah. he had to alter the design of it which um I liked I mean I can like I like puppet plunder panic or whatever I can I puppet I, I can't pronounce it puppet panic zone I love that pirate good stuff panic. pirate <laughs> panic plunder puppet zone um Frodogarn I I liked it it was it was good stuff it wasn't it wasn't yeah. the best um arc in the series I did the one it thing it was fun it had a, it, it had fun. a lot of good jokes. And, and the jokes were good. The um, Bean. Obviously. Bean was awesome. Again, yeah. it's like every story that Bean Bean's is in, in is always good. He's like the, the one. Highlight. The one thing I felt the con- it was concluded a bit too quickly. It was yeah, just kind of like it was just like Blaze, yeah. just like I'm mad now. I beat you. The end. It was like yeah. there wasn't like a real strong ending, yeah. which is the opposite of the next arc. I think. Um, after Pirate Pipe Planet, but I like you know the artwork was fun. There's some really good Bean and Marine jokes. Like one of my favorite yeah. things is there's a bit where like Blaze gets kidnapped, Marine. and um and like Marine won't stop talking, <laughs> and then Amy just kind of grabs him and goes like Marine, just stop talking. Is that like, a really good like kind of funny gag? I like that. Or when Bean is you know annoying all the robot pirates because he's got to take a take a pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's making the the. Like fruity drink or something yeah, in the background I love for that. Blaze, who's captive. I will oh. say though, it, it I kind of got from it that Captain Metal was brought back by Eggman Nega, maybe. Huh. Because remember that they said that a doctor had found him at the bottom of the sea and brought him back to take over for Captain Whisker. Post- huh. Yeah, possibly. Which at that point, <clears throat> Captain Whisker, uh, uh, or at least in Rush Adventure, was created by Eggman Nega, and at that mm. point, he had failed. Hmm. To hmm. defeat Blaze and get the Soul Emerald, so I maybe thought that that hinted at Nega being the one who brought him back. I, I don't know. Possibly, possibly. Maybe I'm just being really too, too hopeful to see him again, but c- because I like that character. Man, I just I'm such a. I never really cared worried. so much for Eggman. It's just like it's alternate Eggman. It was it's okay. Well, I liked in, in Rush. He was a lot more cold and calculated. He he hmm. was more willing to even give his life just to beat Sonic. Just to win. Just See, to and win. I, I feel like yeah. I feel like some of I, I feel like um, Ian's writing of regular Eggman is a bit like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I will. It, it might be a little bit redundant. Well, that's what. That's book. what I liked about um, <clears throat> Satyam Robotnik. There's like episodes where like Sniffly's like you know Eggman's like fire weapons at the at the hedgehog. Oh, and it's like we're losing air, and he's like, yeah, he's it's, got like his it's like over sir, if if we do, we'll crash. And it's like goodbye. You, you see that? To, like press the button. You see that smile? Like he's like, oh, like he doesn't if I do as, this. I'm gonna... like I don't care if I die as long as he dies with me. Yeah. I'll be happy. You know that's kind of. That I, I was, was like a that. Great I was, that, was, that was kind of cool. Oh. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I I would recommend Pirate Planet Panda, Puppet Panda, <laughs> Puppet Zone, Panda, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, PPP Zone. Good stuff. You know, pretty good. I I I did I did enjoy. That was my first. Monthly, um, ah, collecting it weekly. Now I would, you know, I was not disappointed. I did enjoy good Keep stuff. Saying and weekly. and weekly, Don monthly. Best did a variant cover as well. Yeah, Which one was yeah. hers? Um, it was fifty-seven. It was like the what, second issue. It, it was the third. What did? Or was it? What was on? What was on the cover? Um, it was, it was Sonic. <laughs> And Marine on the iceberg, and then it had Bean and Bark reenacting the Titanic. Is that the one? The is that the one where Sonic's like, "I'm finally on like the story, and I'm just on this page or something like that"? Yeah, he's yeah. Like, yeah. I, I leave for so many issues. I actually said, that. I, I, I come back to this. And I it's don't. Bean and Bark. I don't think I have that variant, but I remember seeing that thing, and it's kind of yes. cool. Yeah, I, um, I love that. Variant. And then I guess moving on to the latest that just concluded would be Shadowfall, Shadowfall which would be a uh, direct sequel. To Shadow the Hedgehog, no. and I, I like that because when Stephen and I interviewed Ian uh, a year or so ago, he hinted that he really wanted to do something with the Shadow game plot, and this is obviously what um, the fruit that um, bore from that idea, which I was really looking forward to going in. I was too. I I, I, I like the I Shadow so um, character. I like Shadow as a character. You know, he's he's fine and whatnot. And we had a really good um, Shadow. Uh, thing to open up the Sonic universe. Yeah, it, it was fitting mm-hmm. they chose Shadow to open up the reboot after he Well, technically I think Pirate Plunder Panic. Pirate Plunder oh, is, yeah. is part of the reboot. Yeah. Well, I, I meant because that 
because it was in Blaze's world, it never really ah, referenced yeah. the reboot or it anything. Because slightly it was, did, slightly. With, with well, the in Ego it, War. Yeah. Well, yeah, because they because um because the Captain Metal ship is the uh, is the Wily Egg from right. Worlds Collide, so which was a nice touch. Um, but like, it's it's kind of it's 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 basically the black comet comes back again somehow, even though it hasn't been. It's 50 a second years. black second comet. Second black comet. And then like Team Dark, they have to they send in Team Dark to like destroy it. Mm-hmm. And um, it comes out with not not the greatest original character, Ellipsis the Darkling. I could Ellipsis. have I could have uh, I could have done about that character. The Ellipsis. Yeah. What, I, think, I, think the, be, I, I think I think that he's going to be. I don't know. I think that he's going to be a better one. Too. Black like, Death is just such a like. It just I'm Black Doom's brother. Black Death. I am the like hive mind that Black Doom puts in control when he's not around or something. That doesn't like make that. sense. And it's like. <laughs> It's like well, it's, I think it's that it's kind of dopey, and like a lot of yeah. a lot of the at least the first two issues, it's just uh, it beating you over the head with plot points from Shadows. Yeah. Like Shadows an idiot. No, you know what the thing was in a issue one of Shadowfall reminds everyone that Shadows part alien. And I was like, I just forgotten that, and I was happy to forget he was yeah, part please. alien. And that reminded Don't me. Bring that back up. Uh, Honestly, I think that Eclipse is going to be a much better character now that this arc is out of the way. Well, it's just like Thrash. I really like Thrash, but I know people kind of consider him more of a plot device and endangered yeah. species, which I can see. But I, I well, like him as a character, and he had potential. Thrash in Thrash in um, Knuckles Returns was pretty cool. Yes, yeah, and I he was just him. kind of in the background, like, "Who is this guy? He's new." <laughs> Yeah, but like, they, when everyone was asked, like, "Who are all these guys?" It's like they, they kind of they kind of retrend so many plot points. Like they have Shadow being controlled. They have the um, the uh, paralyzing the gas. Yeah, and there's so <laughs> I much. About that. There's so much stuff that it's just like it. It may as well have just been an adaptation of the Shadow game. It probably would have been a bit more interesting to see like Ian rewrite the game. But I just I will say though um the maybe the last, he wanted to do that. Maybe so the last just, I thought the last yeah. issue though um. I, I really liked issue four. I because issue four was just like a balls to the wall fight between yeah. um Shadow and it was Shadow versus Black Death and Omega versus Eclipse. Is it Eclipse is, or, or which Lit? is cool because you would kind of assume it'd be Shadow versus Eclipse yeah. and then Black Death, would, you know, it'd be vice versa. Mm. Also, Black Death, Black dies. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's very it's odd that in the Sonic Universe they will explicitly have a car- a villain die. Yeah. But they like you know spoiler alert. Oh, wow. thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, get away from me. He's like, no, what are you doing? It, no. Those are weird. It's like it's odd that they will specifically have like a character in like the book flat out die, but. Yeah, it's like Captain Metal, he technically he's, died, but he still they're robots. survived. They're robots. Ro- yeah, robots are different. Robot. It's hard that they have, like, a living thing. Die. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I've read the first three parts of Shadowfall, and without reading the final part, it's definitely my least favorite Sonic Universe arc out of all the ones we've I, I I would probably still rank Knuckles Returns as my least favorite, just because, I like, okay. like, like Shadowfall isn't confusing. <laughs> it's just pretty dull. Yeah, Nothing's just, Return is really confusing to me. Yeah, see, and I guess, like, even as much as I've read the comic book, it's still... Knuckles Returns wasn't one of my favorites because it was, it, it was more complicated than it needed it's, to be. It's so, yeah. it's so tied into the continuity that unless you are an expert, most of it won't make any sense. Yeah, you wouldn't get it all. Word. What's going on? So, and, <laughs> And I, I can't wait for the chaos, the great chaos. Caper, next issue. yeah, the next issue is going to be awesome. And Chip's going to be in it. I mean, yes. for me, the, the best thing you can have is have all of those unleashed elements and the dark Gaia monsters and Chip have been Bark and Knack in it. And then it's focused on Knuckles, Knuckles. SBO, and the rest of the Chaotix mm. on Angel a Island. Lot of, a lot of, I mean, no, they're off like, Angel Island. They are? Well, I thought it started out on Angel Island. But It'll probably well, start they, on Angel Island yeah. and then move off. Because they, um, that last page, uh, set is like Knuckles looking up, being like, "I hope that doesn't uh, hit the <laughs> island." But at least she, in co- like whoever she is, is watching. The who, do, island. who do you think it is? Who thinks new character? Knuckles' his mom. <laughs> Knuckles' his mom. Original the Akinda, do not steal. So yeah, I don't know who it is, but she's watching yeah. the island. Yeah. It could be Sally. No, there's no because no, Sally's the oh, Freedom wait. Fighters. Oh, be, well, I remember in the solicitation, Sally maybe hires the Chaotix or 
Yeah, so she hires the Chaotix yeah. to... But at this point, because Shadowfall takes place at the same time as, like, the chase is taking is happening, oh, yeah. that, like, Sally is, is with is on the Freedom Fighters, but the Sky Fortress, they call it? The, um, the, the uh, Sky Patrol. Sky Patrol, yeah. yeah Sky Patrol. What this do you guys think cool. about that, um, making the arcs happen, all the arcs happen at the same time? <laughs> um, I don't mind it. It's, it's yeah. fine. You know, it's... What? No, <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't mind it, you know. I think it's it, it's fine. I mean, I, I mean, they're still they're taking place at the same time, but they're still pretty self-contained. I mean, like yeah. Shadowfall makes small references to what's going on on, on Earth, mm-hmm. but uh, so so Sonic's world, so about that. But you know, it's it's pretty. They're pretty much Dearest. self-contained. How much have we raised, by the way? Are we allowed to say? Uh, I believe Chris is the uh, holder of that information. He's also playing a game, so you can't trust. Yeah, him. guys, this God. is important. All right. Curious. Well, I mean, he's interdating. There was that last twenty. I didn't add in. So oh, okay. Let's see. Was there another one after that? So uh, so far, should be that much plus um, what a member of Retro donated yesterday, which we do not know. Yes. So um, we're gonna say that we have over five hundred and fifty dollars. It occurred to me I didn't show the person. Who oh, asked. yeah. So we've raised over five hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> but I would say um, thanks a lot. Yeah. Everyone, that's, you know... Thank you. Thank you. We're very, very, very uh, oh, grateful and happy. Very generous. Thank you. Very yes, generous. Thank you guys so Have you? much. Um, okay, I just want to... Yeah, so... Um, so, yeah, I think that probably wraps up us talking about the uh, universe. Again, I, I'm a big fan of it. I would, I would probably rank universe as more enjoyable for me than the main series. Mm. Just because all the stories... Because, because the stories are so self-contained, it's easy It's easy to... It's easier, sorry, to follow. And I like that. How about you guys? And it, it's kind of cool, too, because, like, during the Shadowfall arc, I actually look forward more to the regular Sonic and Countdown yeah. to Chaos. But when there's a story arc like Scrambled Eggman, I like that. I would look forward to two to three times more than the yeah. main series. So it's kind of cool. Like I said before, it's refreshing, and it's kind of nice to be able to kind of go back and forth of which one mm. you look more forward yeah. to, Chris, how about you? depending on the story. What's the question? Do you, which you prefer, Universe or the main series? Um, uh, considering I've only read Saga 1 and 2, which is around issue, what's 160? 160. Oh, jeez, that's funny. Oh, jeez. I've only read the Shadow uh, arc of Sonic Universe, but I gotta say, I got more out of Universe because I didn't need to know anything else going in other than the stuff from the game, so basically. I, I, would, I would say, if you look, if you're trying to get into the series, you could start at Saga, which is the start of Ian's run, but I would say if you're just looking for some fun adventures, go to the universe. Pick up pick up some random universe arcs. I would if you if you haven't read anything of the books that are available, I would probably advise Do skipping Knuckles Returns and Journey yeah. to the East because you might be a tad confused. But a lot most of the other ones are pretty self contained and you can get a lot of enjoyment out of yeah. it. Okay. And if you, I mean, honestly, the best way to get into it is just um, track sure. down track down the uh, most recent issues. Yeah, because it, it is a it is a, a, a flat, a flat yeah. reboot. Which um, yeah, so I want to thank everyone for joining us for this talk of the universe. I helped um, series. Should, can we can we make talk of the universe a a, a, a podcast? Podcast. Yeah, we can start a new podcast. About <laughs> Sonic so I want to thank everyone for joining us, and we'll be back talking about more Sonic comic stuff soon, maybe. Goodbye. This has been Talk of the Universe with. <laughs> Your hosts, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the other side. And now for the weather.